All right. So I think 15 miles per hour is about the max. I think that's what it's rated to go anyway when it's tracking 15 miles per hour. Wish they could be a little bit faster. I don't know if they can do that with a firmware update to increase it or something, but uh, 15 miles per hour, especially if you're riding a bike, um, that's not pretty, that's not fast at all. All right, so that was a previous video. And yes, there's been an update uh, for the DJI Neo. And the new firmware is version 0.1.00.0400. So in my previous video, I demonstrated the AI tracking and I used my e-bike. Now my e-bike has a top speed of 28 miles per hour and the Neo seemed like it had a little bit of trouble keeping up. Now the maximum speed that the Neo would go was between 13 miles per hour and maybe 15 miles per hour. And uh, it seemed a little bit slow for me. And I was hoping that they came out with a firmware update or something to improve the speed in which they did. So in the release notes, as you can see down here on the bottom, they have optimized positioning performance and increased flight speed during tracking. Now, this is kind of big for those who like to do action sports, who like to track themselves while they're riding their bikes uh, and all that. So this is a big firmware update and there's a lot more. So let's go over what else is included in this update. So in this version, they've added support for DJI Goggles N3, added live view stabilization when using the Goggles N3 or DJI Goggles 3, added support for vertical shooting, a new in-mobile app control, added support for manual control in full screen, and the ability to switch stick modes. Added support for audio recording via app when using the uh, DJI RC N3 or the DJI RC N2. Also, this next feature is something that you also may like. Uh, they've added noise reduction effect for audio recording to neutral style to preserve ambient sounds. So that's something I like to test out as well. And like I mentioned, you have the increased speed and also fix some unknown issues, whatever that is. Now, a lot of these features we will test out in future videos, but we will be just focusing today on the increased speed. Now, along with the firmware update for the DJI Neo, there's an update for the DJI Fly app. So if you need to update the firmware on the DJI Fly app, a prompt will automatically pop up when you open it up. But for some reason, if it doesn't uh, prompt you, there's a couple other ways you can update the firmware. So once you have the app open, uh, go into your profile and then scroll down to the settings and then also scroll down a little bit on the left hand side and you'll see the about tab and if there's a red dot there that means that's an indication uh, that there is a firmware update. Once you click that you'll see check for updates and then right next to it there is the latest firmware update for the DJI Fly app which is version 1.15.4. Also, if you want to check for firmware updates on the aircraft, you will have to connect to the aircraft first and then hit check for firmware updates. And now that we've gotten through all that, it's about that time that we go out and see what this is all about. All right, we're back. I have my Neo and I have my e-bike and we're ready to go. So to start off, we're going to be using the old firmware update. We're going to test it out, put it through its paces, see what the limit is, see how fast it can get up to, and then uh, we're going to do a field update and then test it out that way with the new uh, firmware update and see what the top speed would be. So uh, let's get right into it. All right, so I have it in follow mode and this is the old firmware update. So let's see how fast we can get up to. All right, so right now I'm 12, 13 miles per hour. And it seems like I lost it already. Now I have my uh, speedometer app going as well. Now it's picking me up. I have it set to medium. Uh, all right. So let's go. And it looks like I lost it again. All right. So the update said it improved the performance and tracking speed. And this is the old, old firmware right now we're running on. 
And I'm see if I can just go a steady speed of, I'm doing 10, 11, 12, 13, actually still 12, 13. And it looks like it's pulling away. Oh, I'm pulling away. All right. Let's see if I can get up to 15. All right. I think I lost it. I don't even know where it is. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Yep. So about 13 miles per hour is pretty much the, uh, the max speed. I have it set to I have it set to uh, medium. It looks like it doesn't like to go around corners either. It, if you go around the corner a little bit too fast, it'll lose you. Any sudden movements, it'll lose you. So I'm trying to round off my turns. And I lost it again. All right, so let's see if I can just do a straightaway. All right, it got me. All right, let's see if I can just do it straight away. And I am doing 13, 14, 15, 16 miles per hour. Seems like it's still keeping up. All right. I was up to 16. Looked like it kept up with me. Let's see if I can change this to, to close. Keep it a little close to me. I can't do it while I am in flight. So what I'm gonna do is uh, land it really quickly. All right, and now I'm gonna go close. See if I can change it now. Yep. And let's fly. So hopefully close is uh, a little better when um, tracking. All right, so I am going into the sun. I wonder if it kind of hinders the tracking. So I'm going about 13 miles per hour right now, 14. All right. I think close does a little better because it can keep an eye on you. I'm doing 17. I think I'm doing 17 miles per hour. Let me switch back over to my... I think it still has me. Come on. Come find me. It sees me, but... I'm going to have to get on the straightaway to do this. Now let's switch back over to my speedometer app. All right, let's see. So once I switch over my pedometer app, <laughs> I can't see the feed, so I don't know how far back it is. As long as I can hear it, once it starts fading away, then I know that I'm losing it. So I'm doing about 15, 16 right now. And I lost it. Once I hit 16, 15 and 16, I lose it. And uh, yeah, so that's a little bit, um, yeah, that is kind of slow when you're riding an e-bike because this bike goes up to 28 miles per hour and uh, I don't want to be riding 16 miles per hour the whole entire time, so, or 15, 13 miles per hour. So let's do the field update and we'll uh, do this again.
All right, so lucky for you, you don't have to wait around for this firmware update. We'll get right into it in just a second. But in the meantime, if you like this video, if you find any useful, please give it a thumbs up uh, because this does help YouTube push it out to more people who are searching for content just like this. All right, let's do some, uh, a little bit of off-roading right now. I'm doing 14 miles per hour and it's keeping up already. So we're using a GPS speedometer and I'm up to 17 miles per hour and it seems like it's still back there with me, 18. I'm doing 19, 20, 21, and it's still with me. All right. All right, so let me, I'm gonna go on the street and I'm gonna switch back over to the app so I can keep an eye on the drone. And just as a note, the speedometer on my bike is probably maybe one to two miles per hour over, so. All right, so I'm at 19 miles per hour, 22, 23, and still keeping up. It's a little windy. It's still staying with me. I'm doing 22 miles per hour. Signal lost. And I lost signal. It is. Damn, lost signal. <laughs> All right, I think I lost, I actually lost signal in, on my uh, my phone. So it's about 21, 22 miles per hour. All right, let me uh, get around this corner here. All right, so we're gonna go down this street here. And let's see here, downhill. I am doing about 20 miles per hour right now. Nice, 22. Staying up with me. I'm averaging around 20, 20 to 22 miles per hour. This is definitely a lot better. Definitely a lot better. It doesn't feel like I'm just creeping. What we're gonna do is turn around here and head back down up the hill. Now we're going kind of into the sun a little bit. And I'm doing like 21 miles per hour. All right, good. Nice. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like I'm creeping along now. An extra six to seven miles per hour is definitely big. So we're gonna bring it in and we'll finish up at the school. Buddy, make it across. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it doesn't like sharp turns. Sometimes quick movements, it loses you. All right. All right. So there it is, the new firmware update. And uh, in reference to the speed, it definitely works. I'm happy. Uh, got up to at least 22 miles per hour when uh, riding my e-bike, and that's a huge improvement.
I'll have some other videos coming out, uh, testing out a couple other features on this new firmware update. Now, I do not have the uh, goggles in three, and I don't plan on purchasing them, so I won't be doing a video on that. But uh, you guys stick around or stay tuned for some other videos that will be coming out in the near future. Um, but in the meantime, if you are new here and you like drone reviews, uh, tips, tricks, and tutorials, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell for future content. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.